Hi, I'm Dwayne Havorka. I'm the Agriculture Program Director at the Isaac Walton League of America. I'm here at our Lowest Green Sligo chapter in Gaithersburg, Maryland, in a woodland, and it's April, and that means it's garlic mustard season. So this is garlic mustard. This is what it looks like. You can see it's got kind of a heart-shaped leaf. Looks a little like a nettle to me. It's got these telltale, really cute flowers right on top. That's what the plant looks like. If you crush the leaves, you get a real garlicky smell. You smell that. Right. So the problem with this plant is it's not native. It's a very invasive woodland plant. It's taking over woodlands in the eastern U.S. and it's spreading around the country. So you want to get the stuff out um, whenever you see it. April is a great time to pull it. You can see it's got fairly shallow root system. So they're real easy to pull this time of year. Now when you pull garlic mustard, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Some people do have skin sensitivities um, to the oils that are in garlic mustard. So it's also a good idea to wash your hands after you're done. So what do you do when you pull it out? Well, you don't want to just throw it on the ground. Problem with that is that there's enough energy left in the plant in the roots to mature these seeds and then you've still got a problem that you're spreading. You also don't want to put it in your backyard compost pile. The problem there is most backyard compost piles don't get hot enough to kill the seeds. Even some of the big municipal systems don't have compost that's hot enough to kill those seeds. So if you can't put it in your compost, if you can't leave it here, what do you do with it? Well, you can eat it. The leaves actually taste pretty good. They have a little bit of a garlic taste to them. If you get the young plants and especially before the seeds and the flowers set on, um, they taste a little sweeter. Sometimes they'll get a little bit bitter. It's good to mix them in with like spinach and lettuce and some other things. The taste can be a little overpowering for some people, but they taste pretty good. So it's not a bad idea to eat your garlic mustard. What if you got way too much of it to eat? Well, a second option is to bag it up. So put it in your trash bag. Now Maryland, like most states, um, don't allow most of the lawn debris into their landfills anymore, but there's usually exemptions for invasive species, and this is one. So in Maryland, in a lot of places, it's fine to put it in a trash bag, um, throw it away with the trash. If you have way too much to even do that, here's a third solution. Bag them up in a dark bag, heavy contractor plastic bag put it out someplace where it won't get disturbed in, in the full sun. Leave it there over the summer. The heat from the sun will help to bake the inside of it, will help to cook those seeds. Now if you're in the northern part of the country, you might have to leave it two summers to really kill off the seeds. One way you can tell is you can open the bag up, kind of leave it there and see if things start sprouting there in a couple weeks. But if you leave it a good two summers, then the stuff inside should be pretty dead. You should be able to put that in your backyard compost pile or just throw it away and get rid of it. Once you've found a patch of garlic mustard, it's a good idea to mark it with a GPS location or just note it on your map. Come back in several weeks because where there's some, there's likely to be more. And you're probably going to have to check them year after year in those same locations to see what else is coming up. Thanks for doing your part to help rid our woodlands of invasive species like garlic mustard. If you'd like to learn more about the Isaac Wallen League of America, visit our website, www.iwla.org. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, visit our website or search for the Isaac Wallen League channel on YouTube. Thanks.